Screwdiver, the speedy swimmer heartless. Screwdiver is a lively creature that tends to zoom and twirl around the battlefield. In its idle animation, its limbs cycle through flowing arcs in a way similar to how a human diver might swim in the water. It makes a show of slashing its trident at us, bowing its head down a bit to help emphasize the movement. Although it has a propeller and flippers to use for propulsion, it also uses its arms quite a bit to swim forward. Like this, the arms widen out the pose so Screwdiver takes up more visual space, and the right arm is free from having the trident point at a weird angle and break the silhouette. In comparison, this attack has Screwdiver maintaining a more active pose where the arms are held out in front and the trident is pointed forward. It does a whole big angry shouting dance before leaning into a fast charge. The propeller spins rapidly while the feet swim in smaller arcs. Everything is clear and compact in this rectangle shape. Rabbit Dog, the Mega Bark Heartless. This Heartless is just a crazy little ball of dog. It's not the type to prance across the battlefield, strafe around us, or even jump up and down. It just enters, waits, and stares. It focuses all its attention on Sora while doing its hyper doggy dance. The idle animation is incredibly lively. Every part of the body seems to be bouncing in excitement. Rabbit Dog is a stickler for personal space. It attacks with a sonic bark when anyone gets close. When moving away though, it races to catch up, taking quick leaping steps. One thing I really enjoy is the exaggeration in this rollover move. When the action starts, the tongue retreats and the mouth closes. Then here, the mouth opens back up and the tongue is on the opposite side. While Rabbit Dog regains balance, the animator pulls the tongue across and flops it down. This dragging of the secondary elements is called follow-through, and provides great exaggeration to this hyper character. Samurai, the Swordmaster Nobody. The samurai is a calm and patient creature, yet harbors some pretty insane sword skills. It floats across the battlefield, keeping a fair distance, and when it goes on the attack, the swords fly gracefully through the air. In the idle animation, Samurai stands tranquilly, moving very little, but still has an active pose. Head is slightly bowed and heel raised, it waits for a fight to start. Just like the sniper shows mastery of land and air, Samurai also uses gravity to its advantage. I love its intricate sword attacks, and this one expertly uses the sword sheath. Samurai pulls one sword into its right hand from the floating sheaths. The arm stretches and curves to help the arc. Here's where it gets tricky. Left hand grabs the other sword, but when rushing forward, the right sword strikes first. The sword gets left mid-air, and we see a nice curve here before this sword stabs. Right hand sword then slashes on its own, returning to its sheath, and the other sword does the same. The style is beautiful. Devastator, the spirited robot heartless. This creature is huge, powerful, and very enthusiastic about destroying us. It has a large presence, not only because it's so big, but because the animator leaned heavily on exaggeration. In animation, this means using poses, actions, and expressions that are more extreme than normal. It's a good way to avoid the stiffness and predictability of reality. Like other Tron enemies, what's interesting about Devastator is how it's sort of a caricature of an electrical mechanism, and I think it embodies the wildness of a bolt of lightning. Every move Devastator makes is filled with frenzy, like this thing does not have a stable bone in its body. For example, when readying to fire cannons, it crumples itself to the ground, spreading out unevenly in a clumsy attempt to get stabilized. The body parts flop around, and as expected, the stance fails, because when the attack that follows causes a strong recoil, it looks as if Devastator itself is exploding. Neo Shadow, the Dark Puddle Diving Heartless. Thin and agile, this creature stays crouched low and flops around constantly, full of energy. Its gangly armed stance and erratic behavior give it an iconic presence. And as if swimming in the floor wasn't special enough, it also has two idle animations. I would say the key to this erratic movement is timing and secondary action. In this idle animation, Neo Shadow has basically two poses, this one and this one. To get from one pose to the other, the animator takes us on a legit journey. The body quickly sways backward, then slows down as it suddenly takes a pit stop in another direction, before settling into pose 2. Alongside this, we have the antenna, head, fingers, and feet, all moving at different beats and tilting in different ways. These are the secondary actions that add to the vitality of the main action. The antenna in particular almost seem to jumpstart all the Neo Shadow's changes in direction with their quick twitching. 
And that is enough admiration for now. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with this series. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and share the video if you think others will enjoy it too. And I will see you next time.